Hey guys, I'm Jeff the Homestead Dad. Welcome to the Homestead. Actually, we're in Jacob's car. Jacob's driving. We're going to get something that I have wanted for at least a decade. Almost a quarter of my life. And the stars have aligned and things are... The die is cast. Things have been started that cannot be undone. So, let's go get it. Sorry, I want to keep the lights off so Jacob can see. I have a, uh, my Carhartt jacket behind the seat here, as well as some warm gloves. I don't know if that gives you any more uh, hint as to what we're going to get. But to say I'm excited is an extreme understatement. Hey guys, this is our new bus. We bought a bus. So it's kind of loud right now. I'll turn off the, the motor in a second. But this is our bus. Uh, the guy I bought it from took all the seats out already. He started pulling the floor out there and back there. Hasn't gotten it finished. You can still see there's the brackets right along here. It's 30 feet wide. Yeah, it's 30 feet from the back to the first seat right here, the stairwell. Uh, it's 7 foot 6 wide at the bottom. It's a little bit narrower in the front. This is a Thomas body. Um, it's a Thomas Freightliner. Freightliner built the chassis, Thomas built the body, and I believe the Thomas bodies kind of angle in at the top, so I could probably do measurements slightly narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. Um, and it has a Cat C7 engine. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Let me take, show you guys the video. So here's the cockpit. Uh, all our switches and lights, most of which still work. Uh, fan works, fan works, fan works, so we may be able to hook up some different 12-volt um, stuff here. I can use this as a, um, a cubby. This will come open. I think if I unscrew this, yep. So I can use this as a cubby up here. Um, we got wiring and stuff. The rear right brake right now is not working. Uh, okay, like I said, it's seven foot six across here. Yeah. It is 30 feet um, long and it is six foot five foot tall to the roof here. Still got to decide what I want to do with this. I think I'll turn this emergency hatch and the emergency hatch in the back there into um, skylights. The windows are all tinted and they're better than the ones that I looked at that are on auction. Um, door back here works so does the alarm I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn the alarm off this is a heater that uses the coolant to do the heater um, pretty sure we're not gonna keep that in here I'll pull that out I have several different ideas for how I want to make the layout um, I do want to do triple bunks but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get enough space over those wheel wells in order to do the triple bunks so I got to figure out if I do bunks in front, if I have, like if I do bunks in front of the wheel wells here, if I have enough space for seating in kitchen in front, and I'm not sure I'm going to. So I'm gonna start playing with measurements and, and taping things out in here. We're gonna start trying to get these brackets out and then we can insulate the floor and start with the good subfloor and then start building from that. So I'm not gonna take the ceiling out. Uh, I believe it's insulated in here. It's a northern bus. Uh, there's a speaker out up in the ceiling up over here that I can reach in, and there's some insulation in here. We're not going to travel in this a ton in the winter anyway. Um, so I figure if we insulate the floor, and then we just have, you know, curtains. We'll do insulating curtains on the windows. Um, I don't know that I'm going to delete windows or anything like this, but we'll see. Uh, I do have a neighbor who is a mechanic. The bus drove fine over here. Um, the guy who I bought it from had driven it back to his house and it was fine. Uh, I will probably have my neighbor look at it and if he doesn't feel comfortable giving me the A-OK -okay on everything, I'll take it to the truck stop and just make sure that everything is good. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be a lot of videos. I've still got videos from California that I need to edit and show to you guys from when we went on our family trip to California. But this is going to take up a bunch of my time. We want to go 
out west. Next summer, I want to do Badlands, Mount Rushmore, uh, Yellowstone, and Grand Tetons. So I need to get this done so that we can do that. So I've got like the next nine months, eight months. We'll go late summer. I've got eight months to get this done. Uh, and I don't want to spend a ton of money. So I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start building it out as inexpensively as possible and just get it to be functional and then we can always continue to add things as we move forward so that's the plan i'm pretty psyched about it though let me know what you guys think in the just you know in the comments uh are you excited for me am i an idiot uh i'm an idiot anyway but yeah leave a comment let me know what you think uh give me your suggestions tell me what you guys have done what you've seen send me links to videos um i've been watching a ton of videos trying to figure everything out so new adventure. Thanks for watching. God bless you and your family. I will see you guys in the next video.